everybody, my name is Coach Shane and welcome to Easy English Expressions. Come on, let's master English. Hello everybody, welcome back to Dave the Easy English Expression, the podcast. Coach Shane here, how you doing today? Today is the last day of April 2023. Uh, it might be May 1st already for you. It is, by the way, the best day to join DDM. Today, tomorrow, this week, because we are starting around fresh. Oh, and please stick around until the end of the podcast because I'm going to talk about Spotify and I'm going to mention some of the listeners' names and I had a quiz there. So, uh, yeah, please stick around for that. Today, e cubed. 1093. We're going to be talking about three words that are very similar but used in different ways. Are you ready? Crush, smash, and squash. Crush, C R U S H, smash, S M A S H, and squash, S Q U A S H. So, first, let's talk about crush. To crush something means to press it or squeeze it with force, usually your hands or even your feet. And you, you squeeze it, you press it, and it breaks or it becomes flat. So for example, there was a big truck that drove over a box on the road and crushed it. The box is flat. Or there was a can, an empty can, and I stepped on it hard, and I crushed it. It's flat. Okay, so that's the idea of crush. Next, we have smash. To smash something means to hit and break it with great force. Usually, it's, it could be glass. Usually glass. So it could be a person, too. And if you hit glass like a window with great force, what happens to the glass? It shatters or it breaks into pieces. So for example, he got so angry that he picked up his phone and smashed it on the ground. Oh my God, that's crazy. Can you imagine you take your phone, your iPhone or your Android phone and you're really angry and you smash it on the ground and whoosh, it breaks. That's the idea of smash. And finally, we have squash. Again, to squash something means to press it with force. And it causes the thing, again, to be flat or it changes, changes shape. But what's important is the thing is usually soft. Yeah, it's usually soft. So, for example... Be careful not to squash the bread when you put it in your grocery bag. Think about this. Let's say you buy a bunch of potatoes, heavy potatoes and bread, and you have a grocery bag, and you put the potatoes on top of the bread in the bag. Is that smart? No. By the time you get home, the potatoes, I'm sorry, the bread will be squashed. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's the idea. Because the bread is soft, right? Okay, so I think we have a pretty good idea. Let's listen to a short dialogue and see how these three words are used in context. Oh, watch your step. Someone squashed an orange. Ugh. What a dirty area. There's a crushed can. And someone smashed that window. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Where are these guys? They, it sounds like they're in a scary place. In this conversation, the first guy says to the others, watch your step. That means be careful of where you walk because someone has squashed an orange on the ground. You can squash an orange. You can squash a banana. You can squash a bug. Yeah. If somebody squashes a banana on the ground, do you want to step on it? No, it's dirty. And the second guy says, yeah, he agrees. Oh, it is a dirty area. And then he talks about a crushed 
can. Somebody crushed a can. And then the third guy, I think that was me, he points out that someone has smashed a window. There's a broken window. So this is a really dirty, kind of scary area. And finally, they agree, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So guys, remember, crush, smash, and squash, these words are very similar in meaning, but they're used in different ways depending on the situation. So the next time you use one of these words, be careful, and I really want you to pay attention and listen for the words, okay? Does that make sense? All right, we're going to check out the dialogue in a a minute or two, but right now I want to move to Spotify. So our our podcast is everywhere. You know, you can get it on YouTube, uh, on iTunes, uh, everywhere. Um, Spotify is one of those places, and nowadays Spotify By the way, Spotify, S-P-O-T-I-F-Y. Spotify is really cool because I can ask questions and I can make polls and you guys can respond. It's very easy. So uh, yeah, let me introduce some of you guys. So I'm going to be really quick here, but I just want to say hi to people that left messages on Spotify. And the first one is Anderson Menezes. Good God, I hope I pronounced that right. Then we have Will Cavalli, Parucho264, V2L. Is it V2L or V21? I'm not sure. Hirotaro8496, Livia Santos. And then I can't read the characters, but the guy says, or girl, I don't know. Hi there. I want to appreciate your effort to learn our society as well as all over the world. My suggestion is why not use subtitles even for the deaf? That's a great question and a great comment. Now, this is a podcast, so it is only audio. Um, However, if you go and watch this podcast on YouTube, and you can do that, uh, you can get subtitles. So there is that available. It's a really important thing that you're saying, and I appreciate that. Nason Basilio, I hope my pronunciation was right. Bia Sales Poglia. Lucas Coto. Tala Muradov. Uh, once again, I'm going to just be brutal on these names. Please, guys, don't kill me. Uh, we got a bunch more. Pretty, almost done. Giza Maria Villela, KRM TMBV, Yu Young, Andre, Javier Leal, Marco Solando, Marco Solando, Davis, Abbas, Kashid Malik, Frank. And that's it for names to introduce. And in the, la- in the last podcast, I made a poll on Spotify. And uh, the question was, what is the best day to start off on a clean sheet? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or any day? And I loved your answers. As I suspected the... Well, actually, I thought Monday would be the number one answer. But no, the number one answer was any day. 43% of you said any day is a day is a great day to start off on a clean sheet. I totally agree. That's beautiful. Uh, 22% said Friday, 4% said Saturday, 10% said Sunday, and 20% said Monday. I actually kind of thought Monday would be the number one choice. Uh, but yeah, any day. I love it. So again, if you're listening on Spotify, I've got these questions out there, and I will continue to make different polls, and I hope that you participate And I love introducing uh, you, uh, people that listen to the podcast. You can send me an email, too. The email address is simply contact at letsmasterenglish.com. We have other email addresses, too. I just can't remember, but that's a good one. So thank you very much for listening to Daily Easy English Expression. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you're just waiting for a good time to start, DDM, now is the time. We start completely fresh uh, tomorrow, May 1st. A brand new Seinfeld episode and a whole lot more. Just go to letsmasterenglish.com and sign up. Thanks so much, guys. Let's check out the dialogue two more times. And together, let's master English. Oh, watch your step. Someone squashed an orange. What a dirty area. There's a crushed can. And someone smashed that window. Ooh. Let's get out of here. Oh, watch your step. Someone squashed an orange. Ooh. What a dirty area. 
There's a crushed can. And someone smashed that window. Ooh. Let's get out of here. 